Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit a big earthquake with significant damage, solar impact to trees and logging, a great side-by-side -side eye candy comparison, and a model of the magnetic field during the great May 2024 solar superstorm. But let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star where we find things were largely quiet until just this morning. The low-level flaring and confined surge activity gave way this morning to two plasma filament eruptions going off the left side here. One out due left near the equator and then a second one off the south. Neither of these is aimed at Earth, but it's why we watch those filaments closely. We also took a glancing blow off a of CME overnight. Very unexpected since only faint shocks were visible on SOHO, but it drove rapid changes in plasma character, both physically and magnetically, and we had a very brief low-level geomagnetic storm condition overnight. It is waning back now. We'll keep an eye open for more activity from the filaments and from these sunspots. They are growing, but two of these are about to turn out of view. Folks, there was a pretty big earthquake that struck Vanuatu yesterday, 7.3 in the island region, and significant damage resulted, including to the building where the U.S. Embassy can be found. Even with a depth of 57 kilometers, the surface shaking was pretty tremendous. Prayers for the cleanup in the Southwest Pacific. Up next, an excellent study on the sun and the logging industry in the Czech Republic. From tree growth to harvesting success of a species called the Norway spruce, they find clear cyclicity with the 11-year sunspot cycle, with an eye toward the sun cycle impact on the local climate rather than on a change in its UV production. Eye candy up next, side by side of Hubble and James Webb looking at NGC 346. Hubble's specialty was capturing the near UV wavelengths while Webb is geared for the infrared. You can see how the light wavelengths dramatically change how the object looks here. Now lastly on the article front, more eye candy but a chance to learn. This is a model of the Earth during the great solar storm of May 2024. We start zoomed in here with the satellites and then we come out as the magnetosphere is revealed and then the interaction with the solar wind. The interesting layer to see here are the darkest purple lines and how when they move around and change from north-south to east-west configurations, it changes the plasma environment near Earth, that yellowish light greenish hue. When those purple fields are moving around, that's the phi angle of the solar wind, where it's interacting with the Earth's magnetic field, and determining how Earth interacts with the solar wind shockwave plasma, also determining how much the near-Earth plasma is impacted. It's the first time I've ever seen the effect of the phi angle magnetic field visualized in this way. It's pretty cool. Folks, the next two mini-conferences are set at Observer Ranch. As January approaches, we'll be announcing other major events coming this year. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.